So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make mouth-watering palm oil rice. I mean concussion rice. This is my favorite rice. So stay tuned. Okay, so what we'll need is um the two cups of rice and um vegetable ugu leaf, some onions, stock cube and salt, and then we we'll need some pepper and tomato mix and then need some beef or some beef stock then some crayfish and of course palm oil okay so you start by washing your rice um to get out some of the starch wash it thoroughly i like to wash my rice very thoroughly and strain it before adding it to parboil for a very short time in the pot so after washing it like this i'll strain the water um and leave it there until um the water in the pot has boiled very well before i'll then add it to my pot of boiling water so um after the water has boiled before i'll add the rice and then in the meantime i'll be cutting my onions and preparing all i need for the food before the water gets boiled you know this recipe is very easy and fast um, recipe um, it doesn't take a lot of time so you have to be very fast in whatever you're doing okay so i guess my water is now boiled and um, i want to add my well rushed rice into the water to parboil for a short period of time um after adding the rice be sure to stir it so that the water will um, will mix very properly um and then you cover it cover the pot and leave it to boil for a very short period because um you don't need it to be too soft at the end so now our rice has fibroid. Oh, the water almost dried up. You have to wash very well, not allow the water to dry before washing it out. This is to make sure that you, you get out all the starch, that the starch does not end up sticking back and then get into the rice again. So you wash it up very well. Um, at this point, it's still very hot, so be careful so it doesn't burn your hand. Just get enough water in. I, I, I love to use the wooden spatula at first to stir the rice and wash. And then, after I wash for the first time, then it's, the heat must have reduced at that time. And at the second time, I can use my hand to thoroughly scrub the rice. So, oh, this is important to make sure that the rice doesn't stick together. Because if you have starch in your rice, then your rice. Will easily stick together um, when cooking because of the starch. The second time, I'm going to use my hand to wash the rice thoroughly to make sure that all the starch is gone. Okay, so after we go to strain it, put it in my strainer and um, leave it there because you can't leave your rice in the water. If not, it will become soggy like overly soft and that won't be good for the total outcome of the people. So I'm spinning it here, um, leave it there and the next thing is you try you start um keep your pots back on the fire and start preparing the base for the rice. You allow your palm oil to sit for a while. Um, I love this method because um I will tell you why I love this method. Um, you put add some little, so a little salt into your palm oil after it has heated up for a while, and then you add your onions, your chopped onions, and you stir and allow to sauté for a while, and, and cover your pot. Yeah, it's 
it would mix very well. And then you allow it to fry for a very short period, like one minute, and to cover your food so the heat can quickly you know, cook the onions and bring out the juice. After we go ahead and add the pepper and mix and tomatoes. This pepper mix is made up of majorly um tatashi pepper and a little acarado. Just a little because um, I'm making this food for my babies and I don't want it too hot. So I also like adding just a little tomato paste and fresh tomato paste. It gives it this fresh um, flavor. I love so so much. Just cover it, this mix and allow it to go for a while. And then at this point, you can go ahead and add your rice. Add your rice into it and start the mix. The reason why I love to add my rice before adding any form of water is because your rice will be able to mix with the stuff very well. And this will make the taste to be very intense. Once you put water first, it begins to dilute the, 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 the sweetness of the stock of the base and then at the end of the day you will not enjoy the rice as when you mix it like this and this this style also helps you to know the amount of water you should be adding so you don't end up adding too much water that's needed for the rice when you've properly mixed it like this properly you can now go ahead and add your meat, your meat stock. Before even adding any water, first of all, add your meat stock. Yes, because there's how you add too much water and then you will not be able to use your meat stock anymore. If not, the rice will become too soft and I, I know that's not what you want. So after adding your meat stock and you see you add your little crayfish and um, you go ahead and add um, your stock cubes you add your stock cube for this food i'll be using one and a half stock cube like yeah i will not be exhausting the second stock i'll just this stock cube is actually two and one so i'll be using just half of the second paper yeah because um i don't want it to be too much since i'm already using my stock which already contains some stock here and i'm using crayfish and, uh, and i'm going to add some okoro into this rice as well so i need the natural taste not maggi um, taste so that's why i won't be adding up to two cubes of the stock cube so after this you need to still you need to still stir stir your rice stir and mix the ingredients very very well because you don't want one side to be having maggi and the other side to not have maggi and of course you can add water to it not too much water just um water at to the level of your rice because of course too much water is not what we want for this food after adding water you're going to stir and stir and stir until you get that perfect mix and then when you're, when you're satisfied you can cover your pot and allow it to cook in low very very low heat the rice doesn't need too much heat so here we go our rice is ready and of course an empty plate shows that it was delicious